In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to flip, mirror, and rotate images. These tips will help you fix your images that have been photographed sideways or help you perfect the look of your photos on social media. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. First, I want to demonstrate the difference between flip and mirror. When you choose flip, layers or selections are flipped in position. When you choose mirror, layers or selections are flipped along their horizontal left to right or vertical top to bottom axis. When you flip or mirror a full photo, you can't really see the difference between these two commands. But you can also flip or mirror objects, like a shape or text, or a selection, and then you can see the difference. Let's do an example with this image of the side profile of a cat staring to the right. I have the image opened up under the Edit tab. I'll click on Image at the top, then Mirror, then Mirror Horizontal to flip the image along its horizontal axis. And now you'll see we have a mirror image of the cat staring to the left. Now let's say I want to create an artistic image using this photograph and have the same cat staring at itself in both directions. We can flip a selection to do this. Flipping a selection converts it into a floating selection, leaving the original layer unchanged. So let's go to the Square Selection tool and draw a selection around the cat. Now let's click on Image, Flip, then Flip Horizontal. This has now created a new layer, and we can drag it to the right. And now you'll see we've created a cool artistic image of the cat mirrored, staring at itself. Another practical use for flipping and mirroring images is for when we want to create an image to use on social media. For example, with our cover photo on Facebook. If we upload this photo as our cover photo, the mother and baby will be blocked by our profile picture. We can mirror or flip the image so that the key part of an image won't be blocked by our profile picture by simply clicking on Image, then Mirror, then selecting Mirror Horizontal or Mirror Vertical. Now we can add our profile picture. I have this portrait of a man opened up in PaintShop Pro that I need to rotate before adding it as his profile picture. We have three different options to choose from when rotating images. To rotate the image 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, you can go to Image, then Rotate Right or Rotate Left, or simply click on the Rotate Right or Rotate Left buttons. Another option if you want to rotate an image to a specific angle is to go to Image, then Free Rotate. From here, you can choose either the right or left option to set the direction of the rotation. And then, under Degrees, you can choose the Free option and set a specific value for the rotation. Then click OK. After this, you'd need to crop the image accordingly to remove the added background. We can also rotate by selecting the Pick tool. From here, we can rotate the image by dragging the rotation handles to the right or left until we reach our desired rotation level. And finally, we'll use the Crop tool to remove the added background. And we're ready to add our cover photo and profile picture to our Facebook page. Now we can clearly see our subjects in our cover photo, and we no longer have a crooked photo as our profile picture. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.